So within this video guys, I bring you 5 ways to earn super fast runes. A method for every player here, new and old. Let's go. How's it going guys, my name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on. So guys, in this video we'll showcase to you 5 simple ways in earning tons of runes. You can earn millions using these farms, it just depends on how long you want to farm certain methods. So let's go. So we will start with the easiest to do here, which I will state isn't anywhere near as good as what you can earn in regards to rune farms I will cover today. But it's the first spot many players use to get that initial boost to help them level up through the early stages. Okay. So from this site of grace on the map right here, the Lyra Nier Highway North, I believe that's pronounced. It's as simple as this, guys. Pull out your mount and run forward through these enemies. At the bottom of this pack, a giant will spawn in. Here, simply sharp turn left and run and hide behind this rubble. Here guys you will earn runes for their enemies battling it out. When all of one side are dead, simply run back to that site of grace, uh, change the time and rinse and repeat this process guys, it really is that simple. Okay, so next up people, we have the polar opposite of that last farm. This one will see you earning tons of runes in minutes, but I will state this is the most difficult to achieve as it requires you to take out enemies. So in regards of difficulty, it's the hardest to do today at these five methods, but it's still relatively quite simple because these enemies are easy to kill. And as long as you do things right, you shouldn't have any problem. The issue is if they clock you, they basically have the ability to one bomb you no matter your level if you're under 60. So it's best you use stealth on these to take them out from behind as it's no trouble at all. So this is what you want to do here. Come to this point on the map, the third church of America, northeast of that starting point. And from here guys, what we are going to do is use a portal which takes us north of that grace we need to activate, which is the grace here called Farron Great Bridge as these enemies are a part of this small area right here. So from the third church of Marika, you need to follow me to this portal right nearby. Once activated, you will spawn north of that grace we want to head to.
So I'll trigger this grey skies. Now this small area here is full of these enemies you want to be using stealth to kill. I mean if you are high enough you can take them out quite easily on your mount. Now there are probably 15 of these enemies here and each give you around that 1000 rune mark. So just circle the area guys, stealth kill them from behind and it should be quite easy for you. Now if you don't kill them within one hit, lay down a few more shots and move on. But be careful, they hit pretty hard. So try and avoid that. Once you've taken out who you can see, simply fast travel back to that grace we just activated in the Farum Great Bridge. And all these enemies will have respawned for you to repeat this process for as long as you like. So enjoy that one. Next up guys is a way in which you can earn 42k runes in about 20 seconds. It's super simple. So you need to come to this Lena's Rise east of the map, which is another grace point. Now using your mount here, you can run straight here if you want to. It isn't too difficult as long as you don't stop to fight enemies. Or you could indeed use that portal we just went through for the last farm near the third church of Marika and run down to this spot. It's up to you. Either method is quite simple. So once here guys, make sure it's night time by activating and changing the time of day from this grace site. Then guys, you will notice in front of you is a horseback dude in black. Here guys, we are just going to kite this guy into chasing you up that hill behind him, as this hill is filled with poison spores, which when you run over them, they explode, but also do damage to him. Now you have to keep him close to you or he will lose interest. Now at the top of this hill, turn left and you will notice if done right, his health bar will disappear. It will come up saying he's died and you will be rewarded 42,000 runes. It is as simple as that. Now this is a one time thing so make the most out of it while it's still in the game. So next up guys, we have an incredible rune farm, which sees you not having to fight anything. And you can do this an unlimited amount of times and it earns you around 8k runes per minute if you are quick enough. So from that same grey site we just used for the last method, the Lenny's Rise east of the map, you just want to do as I do on screen now. Simply run down this hill to this spot. And stop for a split second guys and you will notice a boulder will spawn in and roll towards you. Now what you want it to do is roll off the cliff in this general direction. But you also want to avoid it so dodge out of its way because this thing hits like a truck. So if time right you'll dodge out of the way it will roll off the map and you're rewarded 2000 runes. Then guys, it's as simple as fast travelling back to that grace, running back down this hill and repeating the process. Yes, you can do this an unlimited amount of times and in 2000 runes every single time you do this. So yes guys, enjoy that one. Okay, so lastly today guys is the method in earning 75,000 runes in about 5 minutes of easy work taking out a dragon who is asleep or just too big to fight back. Now to make this much faster on yourself, it's best to have a weapon which causes blood loss buildup. Again, this isn't needed but it just makes killing him quicker. Samurais will have this as their standard katana, but that katana you can go and grab at any time quite easily. And I'll showcase this on screen now for people playing anything other than the samurai. So for this katana you want to come to the death touch catacombs. As you can see me at on the map right here. Now here you want to enter these catacombs and just run past the enemies following the path I take. 
it's relatively quite straightforward guys so come here grab this and you're ready to go Okay, so this dragon is located right near the Fort Farif Grace site. So head here guys and trigger this grace. Upon doing this weapon at hand you will see a massive white dragon in front of you. All you need to do guys is go up to it and I recommend it's either belly or tail and just hit away. You eventually will kill this thing and be rewarded 74k plus runes for your troubles. And yes, it is as simple as that people. Now it's a one time thing so again make the most out of it. That katana I suggested you get in, you will notice does a massive increased amount of damage after a certain few hits and it does make things going much much faster. But there we have it guys, 5 amazing methods of earning fast runes and I hope there's at least one farm here which helped you out. And on that note the end of the video has arrived guys, if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more out of Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.